I'm still patched into Drake's comm system. I've intercepted enough radio chatter to learn that Drake's combat troops have overtaken the defense platform. Some of the original crew might still be alive, but I can't confirm that. I can tell you that Drake's deployed a laser defense net, which draws power from the platform's core. Rather enjoyed your company, James. Do be careful. Call out. On a fool's errand, Mr. Bond. I've just locked the launch sequence. Nothing can stop Operation Nightfire, not even my own death. That's a theory I mean to test. <laughs> You've already failed miserably. But take with my missiles if you must. Don't make a splendid target for my laser cannons. James, the missiles! You won't be able to disarm the warheads in time. Your only hope is to sabotage the launch system in some way. You'll have to disable them manually. Each launch gantry has a weak coupling that you can melt with your laser. I'll credit you with persistence, Mr. Bond. Persistence and failure. There are NATO launch sites on Earth which could challenge the arsenal on my island. Those bases will be incinerated by turning these defensive missiles into massive defensive ones. I've kept my most hardened combat veterans on reserve, Bond. I'll let them finish you off.
shaken, not stirred. Or is it stirred, not shaken? Hmm. Definitely stirred. Astronomers from around the globe are reporting unexpected meteor showers. Well done, 007. Then I'm sure the world won't mind my taking a few days off. We'll let the autopilot be our designated driver. Oh, James. Intensity. Oh, yeah. 